MSN exam for musculoskeletal examination. Question 1. A client is one day post-operative after a total hip replacement. The client should be placed in which of the following position? A. Supine B. Semi Fowlers C. Orthopneic D. Trendelenburg Answer, B. Semi Fowlers Question 2. A client who has had a plaster of Paris cast applied to his forearm is receiving pain medication. To detect early manifestations of compartment syndrome, which of these assessments should the nurse make? A. Observe the color of the fingers. B. Palpate the radial pulse under the cast. C. Check the cast for odor and drainage. D. Evaluate the response to analgesics. Question 1. A client is one day post-operative after a total hip replacement. The client. Question 3. After a computer tomography scan with intravenous contrast medium, a client returns to the unit complaining of shortness of breath and itching. The nurse should be prepared to treat the client for A. An anaphylactic reaction to the dye. B. Inflammation from the extravasation of fluid during injection. C. Fluid overload from the volume of the infusions. D. A normal reaction to the stress of the diagnostic procedure. Answer A. An anaphylactic reaction to the dye. Question 4. While caring for a client with a newly applied plaster of Paris cast, the nurse makes note of all the following conditions. Which assessment finding requires a medi notification of the physician? A. Moderate pain, as reported by the client. B. Report, by client, the heat is being felt under the cast. C. Presence of slight edema of the toes of the casted foot. D. Onset of paralysis in the toes of the casted foot. Answer, D. Onset of paralysis in the toes of the casted foot. Question 5. Which of these nursing actions will best promote independence for the client in skeletal traction? A. Instruct the client to call for an analgesic before pain becomes severe. B. Provide an overhead through piece for client use. C. Encourage leg exercise within the limits of traction. D. Provide skin care to prevent skin breakdown. Question 3. After a computer tomography. Answer. B. Provide an overhead through piece for client use. Question 6. A client presents in the emergency department after falling from a roof. A fracture of the femoral neck is suspected. Which of these assessments best support this diagnosis? A. The client reports pain in the affected leg. B. A large hematoma is visible in the affected extremity. C. The affected extremity is short seen and, adducted, and extremely rotated. D. The affected extremity is edematous. Question 4. While caring for a client with a Question 5. Which of these nursing actions will best promote independence for the client in skeletal traction? A. Question 3. After a computer tomography scan with intravenous contrast medium, a client returns to the unit complaining of shortness of breath and itching. The nurse should be prepared to treat the client for A. An anaphylactic reaction to the dye. B. Inflammation from the extravasation of fluid during injection. C. Fluid overload from the volume of the infusions. D. A normal reaction to the stress of the diagnostic procedure. Answer. B. Provide an overhead. Question 6. 
a client presence in the emergency department after falling from a roof. Question 4. While caring for a client with a newly applied plaster of Paris cast, the nurse makes note of all the following conditions. Which assessment finding requires a medi notification of the physician? A. Moderate pain, as reported by the client. B. Report, by client, the heat is being felt under the cast. Question 5. Which of these nursing act? Question 3. After a computer tomography scan with intravenous contrast medium. Answer. B. Provide an overhead true piece for client use. Question 6. A client presents in the Question 4. While caring for a client with a newly applied plaster Question 5. Which of these nursing actions will best promote independence for the client in skeletal traction? A. Instruct the client to call for an analgesic before pain becomes severe. B. Provide an overhead true piece for client use. C. In Question 3. After a computer tomography. Answer. B. Provide an overhead true piece for client use. Question 6. A client presents in the emergency department after falling from a roof. A fracture of the femoral neck is suspected. Which of these assessments best support this diagnosis? A. The client reports pain in the affected leg. B. A large hematoma is visible in the affected extremity. C. The affected extremity is short seen and, adducted, and extremely rotated. D. The affected extremity is edematous. Question 4. While caring for a client with a Question 5. Which of these nursing actions will best promote independence for the client and scale? Question 3. After a computer tomography scan with intravenous contrast medium, a client returns to the unit complaining of shortness of breath and itching. The nurse should be prepared to treat the client for A. An anaphylactic reaction to the dye. B. Inflammation from the extravasation of fluid during injection. Answer B. Provide an overhead. Question 6. A client presents in the emergency department after falling from a roof. Question 4. While caring for a client with a newly applied plaster of Paris cast, the nurse makes note of all the following conditions. Which assessment finding requires a medi notification of the physician? A. Moderate pain, as reported by the client. B. Report, by client, the heat is being felt under the cast. C presence of slight edema of the toes of the casted foot. D. Onset of paralysis in the toes of the casted foot. Question 5. Which of these nursing act? Question 3. After a computer tomography scan with intravenous contrast medium, a client answer, B. Provide an overhead true piece for client use. Question 6. A client presence in the Question 4. While caring for a client with a newly applied plaster of Paris cast, the nurse Question 5. Which of these nursing actions will best promote independence for the client in skeletal traction? A. Instruct the client to call for an analgesic before pain becomes severe. B. Provide an overhead true piece for client use. C. Encourage leg exercise within the limits of traction. D. Provide skin care to prevent skin break. Question 3. After a computer tomography.
Answer B. Provide an overhead true piece for client use. Question 6. A client presents in the emergency department after falling from a roof. A fracture of the femoral neck is suspected. Which of these assessments best support this diagnosis? A. The client reports pain in the affected leg. B. A large hematoma is visible in the affected extremity. C. The effect. Question 4. While caring for a client with a. Question 5. Which of these nursing actions will best promote independence for the client? Question 3. After a computer tomography scan with intravenous contrast medium, a client returns to the unit complaining of shortness of breath and itching. The nurse should be prepared to treat the client for a. An anaphylactic reaction to the dye. b. Inflammation from the extravasation of fluid during injection. Answer b. Provide an overhead. Question 6. A client presents in the emergency department after fall. Question 18. The morning of the second postoperative day following hip surgery for a fractured right hip, the nurse will ambulate the client. The first intervention is to A. Get the client up in a chair after dangling at the bedside. B. Use a walker for balance when getting the client out of bed. C. Have the client put minimal weight on the affected side when getting up. D. Practice getting the client out of bed by having her slightly flex her hips. Answer B. Semi Fowlers. Question 3. After a computer tomography scan with intravenous contrast medium, a client returns to the unit complaint. Answer B. Provide an overhead true piece for client use. Question 6. A client presents in the Question 18. The morning of the second postoperative day following hip surgery. Answer B. Semi Fowlers. Question 3. After a computer tomography. Question 6. A client presents in the emergency department after falling from a roof. A fracture of the femoral neck is suspected. Which of these assessments best support this diagnosis? A. The client reports pain in the affected leg. B. A large hematoma is visible in the affected extremity. C. Answer B. Provide an overhead. Answer B. Semi Fowlers. Question 3. After a computer tomography scan with intravenous contrast medium, a client returns to the unit complaining of shortness of breath and itching. The nurse should be prepared to treat the client for A. An anaphylactic reaction to the dye. B. Inflammation from the extravasation of fluid during injection. C. Fluid overload from the volume of the infusions. D. A normal. <laughs> Question 6. A client presents in the emergency department after fall. Answer B. Provide an overhead true piece for client use. Answer, B. Semi-Fowlers. 
Question 5. Which of these nursing actions will best promote independence? Question 24. A female client with rheumatoid arthritis has been on aspirin grantide and prednisone 10 mg bid for the last two years. The most important assessment question for the nurse to ask related to the client's drug therapy is whether she has A. Headaches B. Terry stools C. Blurred vision D. Decreased appetite Question 6. A client presents in the Answer, B. Terry stools Answer, B. Semi Fowlers Question 5. Which of these nursing act? Question 24. A female client with rheumatoid arthritis has been. Question 6. A client presents in the emergency department after falling from a roof. A fracture of the femoral neck is suspected. Which of these assessments best support this diagnosis? A. The client reports pain in the affected leg. B. A large hematoma is visible in the affected extremity. C. The affected extremity is short seen and adducted. A Answer B. Terry stools. Answer B. Semi Fowlers. Question 5 Which of these nursing actions will best promote independence for the client and skeletal traction? A. Instruct the client to call for an analgesic before pain becomes severe. B. Provide an overhead trapeze for client use. C. Encourage leg exercise within the limits of traction. D. Provide skin care to prevent skin breakdown. Question 24 A female client with Question 6. A client presents in the emergency department after falling from a roof. A fracture of answer B. Terry stools. Answer, B. Semi Fowlers. Question 5. Which of these nursing actions will best promote independence for? Question 29. After teaching the client with severe rheumatoid arthritis about the newly prescribed medication Methotrexidrumatrex 0, which of the following statements indicates the need for further teaching? A. I will take my vitamins while I am on this drug. B. I must not drink any alcohol while I'm taking this drug. C. I should brush my teeth after every meal. D. I will continue taking my birth control pills. Answer B. Terry stools. Answer B. Semi Fowlers. Question 5. Which of these nursing act? Question 29. After teaching the client with severe rheumatoid arthritis.
Answer, B. Terry Stools. Question 18, the morning of the second postoperative day following hip surgery for, answer, B. Sammy Fowler's. Answer, B. Terry Stools. Question 18, the morning of the second post. Answer, B. Sammy Fowler's. Question 34, which of the following would the nurse assess in a client with an intracapsular hip fracture? A. Internal rotation. B. Muscle flaccidity. C. Shortening of the affected leg. D. Absence of pain the fracture area. Question 6. A client presents in the emergency department after falling from the roof. Question 18. The morning of the second postoperative day following hip surgery for a fractured right hip, the nurse will ambulate the client. The first intervention is to A. Get the client up in a chair after dangling at the bedside. B. Use a walker for balance when getting the client out of bed. C. Have the client put minimal weight on the affected side when getting up. D. Practice getting the client out. Answer, B. Terry Stools. Question 34. Which of the following would the nurse assess in a client with an intracapsular hip fracture? Question 36. Which of the following actions would be a priority for a client who has been in the post anesthesia care unit because for 45 minutes after an above the knee amputation and develops a dime sized bright red spot on the ACE bondage above the amputation site? A. Elevate the stump. B. Reinforcing the dressing. C. Calling the surgeon. D. Drawing a mark around the site. Question 3. After a computer tomography scan with intravenous contrast medium, a client returns to the unit complaining of shortness of breath and itching. The nurse should be prepared to treat the client for A. An anaphylactic reaction to the dye. B. Inflammation from the extravasation of fluid during injection. C. Fluid overload from the volume of the infusions. D. A normal Question 34. Which of the following would the answer? D. Give the client the prescribed narcotic analgesic. Question 38. The client with an above the knee amputation is to use crutches until the prosthesis is being adjusted. In which of the following exercises would the nurse instruct the client to best prepare him for using crutches? A. Abdominal exercises. B. Isometric shoulder exercises. C. Quadriceps setting exercises. D. Triceps stretching exercises. Answer A. An anaphylactic reaction to the dye. Question 39. The client with an above the knee amputation is to use crutches until the prosthesis is properly lifted. When teaching the client about using the crutches, 
the nurse instructs the client to support her weight primarily on which of the following body areas? A. Auxili. B. Elbows. C. Upper arms. D. Hands. Answer, D. Give the client the Question 38. The client with an above-the-knee amputation is to Answer, A. An anaphylactic reaction. Question 39. The client with an above-the-knee amputation is... Question 3. After a computer tomography scan with intravenous contrast medium, a client returns to the unit complaining of shortness of breath and itching. The nurse should be prepared to treat the client for... A. An anaphylactic reaction to the dye. B. Inflammation from the extravasation of fluid during injection. C. Fluid overload from the volume of the infusions. Answer A. An anaphylactic reaction to the dye. Question 36. Which of the following act? Question 3. After a computer tomography scan with intravenous contrast medium. Answer, A. Expected common side effects. Question 44. A client with fracture develops compartment syndrome. When caring for the client, the nurse would be alert for which of the following signs of possible organ failure. A. Rails. B. Jaundice. C. Generalized edema. D. Dark, scanty urine. Question 3. After a computer tomography. Question 45. Which of the following would lead the nurse to suspect that a client with a fracture of the right femur may be developing a fat embolus? A. Acute respiratory distress syndrome. B. Migraine like headaches. C. Numbness in the right leg. D. Muscle spasms in the right thigh. Answer A. Expected common. Question 44. A client with fracture develops compartment syndrome. When carrying. Question 6. 
a client presence in the emergency department after falling. Question 34. Which of the following would the nurse assess in a client with an intracapsular hip fracture? A. Internal rotation. B. Muscle flaccidity. C. Shortening of the affected leg. D. Absence of pain the fracture area. Question 6. A client presence in the... Question 4. While caring for a client with a newly applied plaster of... Pa Question 24. A female client with rheumatoid arthritis has been on aspirin grantide and prednisone 10 mg bid for the last two years. The most important assessment question for the nurse to ask related to the client's drug therapy is whether she has... A. Headaches. B. Terry stools. C. Blurred vision. D. Decreased appetite. Question 45. Which of the following? Question 29. After teaching the client with severe rheumatoid arthritis about the newly. Question 6. A client presents in the emergency department after falling from a roof. A fracture of the femoral neck is suspected. Which of these assessments best support this diagnosis? A. The client reports pain in the affected leg. B. A large hematoma is visible in the affected extremity. C. The affected extremity is short seen and, adducted, and extreme. Question 24. A female client with rheumatoid arthritis has been on aspirin grant. Answer, B. Terry Stools. Question 18. The morning of the second postoperative day following hip surgery for a fractured right hip, the nurse will ambulate the client. Question 24, a female client with Question 44, a client with fracture develops compartment syndrome. When Answer, C. Inspect the skin on the right leg at least once every 8 hours. Question 29, 
after teaching the client with severe rheumatoid arthritis about the newly prescribed medication methotrexate rheumatrex zero, which of the following statements indicates the need for further teaching? A. I will take my vitamins while I am on this drug. B. I must not drink any alcohol while I'm taking this drug. C. I should brush my teeth after every meal. D. I will continue taking my birth control pills. Question 44. A client with fracture. <laughs> Answer, C. Inspect the skin. Question 4. While caring for a client with a newly applied plaster of Paris cast, the nurse makes note of all. Question 18. The morning of the second postoperative day following hip surgery for a fractured right hip, the nurse will ambulate the client. The first intervention is to A. Get the client up in a chair after dangling at the bedside. B. Use a walker for balance when getting the client out of bed. C. Have the client put minimal weight on the affected side when getting up. D. Practice getting the client out of bed by having her. Question 44. A client with fracture. Question 34. Which of the following would the nurse assess in a client with an intracapsular hip fracture? Answer. C. Inspect the skin on the right leg at least once every 8 hours. Question 18. The morning of the second postoperative day following hip surgery for a fractured right hip, the nurse will ambulate the client. The first question 44. A client with fracture develops compartment syndrome. When caring for the client, the nurse would be alert for which of the following signs of possible organ failure? A. Rails. B. Jaundice. C. Generalized edema. D. Dark, scanty urine. Question 34. Which of the following would... Answer, B. Rewrap the stump with an elastic compression bandage. Question 55. The client with right-sided weakness needs to learn how to use a cane. The nurse plans to teach the client to position the cane by holding it with the A. Left hand and placing the cane in front of the left foot. B. Right hand and placing the cane in front of the right foot. C. Left hand and 6 inches lateral to the left foot. D. Right hand and 6 inches lateral to the left foot. Answer, D. Give the client the prescribed narcotic analgesic. Question 34. Which of the following would the nurse assess in a client with an intracapsular hip fracture? A. Internal rotation. B. Muscle flexidity. C. Shortening of the affected leg. D. Absence of pain the fracture area.
Answer, B. Rewrap the stump with. Question 55. The client with right-sided weakness needs to learn how to use a cane. The nurse plan. Question 18. The morning of the second postoperative day following hip surgery for